Hi, welcome again. Today I want to show you something interesting. For example, I can walk into this set of rocks. There's nothing interesting. But let me show you why it's interesting. So this mesh is created using this mega scan texture inside the engine in real time. So let me show you what we can do with this. So I'm going to select all the mesh and then here we have displacement slider. So I can do something like this. This is not just scaling. And then I can uh, do some changes like, okay, maybe I need to make this a little bit of flat. All right, okay. Basically I can uh, change this mesh in real time, do whatever we need. And the interesting thing is these things are not fixed. All these parameters are derived from a material. And this is that material. Here we get a position as the input along with the normals and UVs. And then we can change it using whatever the tools we have, textures, noise, and you name it. And then uh, we can return the modified position over there. And that's how we created this mesh. All right, uh, let's see how we can create this from scratch. First, you need to get open land mesh. Uh, check the description below on how we can get that. You can get it from the marketplace or you can even get it from GitHub for free. All right. And then I really encourage you to go to the getting started guide. There are a couple of tiny videos. Uh, it's not required, but try to go through them. So then you are familiar with what I'm talking here. So then I'm going to delete this mesh. All right. And then from the uh, content browser, here we have view options. Make sure you enable show plugin content. And from this content bar, search bar, search for open land mesh. All right. Here we have open land mesh content. Select that. Go to examples. Here we have a blueprint. And then we have a blueprint called displaced plane. So just click that and drag that into your scene. All right, it's tiny. Let's scale maybe 15 times. All right, so let's scale it over here. Okay, cool. I can go to wireframe mode. You can see there are some uh, mesh, but I think I need more. And from the details panel, there's a section called open land mesh and subdivisions. Select seven and hit build mesh. So now we have in-app subdivisions to work with. All right, let's go to lit mode. All right, now let's assign a texture to this plane. Here we have a mega scan texture, something like a pebble. Then I'm gonna select that and assign it to the material section under the open land mesh. All right, now we have this texture over there, but it's not nothing like what we have seen earlier. That's totally fine. So then here we have the displacement texture over there, this one. Here on the open land mesh section, we have something called GPU vertex modifier. Expand that. And there are a couple of parameters. The first one is called displacement texture. Okay, then here we have texture value. Simply drag that over there. All right, then you need to hit this modify mesh button. And now you have the mesh. So basically I can the walk the play into that you can see we have the collisions and it just looks like a simple static mesh all right so then what else we can do here uh, we have some parameters so basically here we have some to the displacement i can put some value like let's say eight or no maybe five and there are some other parameters as well by using these parameters we drive this special material so i can double click that you can see that here we got the input position as I mentioned earlier. So based on these parameters, displacement, texture and distance and other stuff, we can control the this position and, and give the uh, modified position. That's how we created this mesh. So let's put 10 back. But changing these parameters like this is not uh, really interesting. So we need some interesting real time tools and there's something like that. Go to the open land mesh content again. All right. Go to the example directory. And there's a direct all widgets. And here we have a widget called manage uh, displays plane. All right, I'm gonna hit run editor with little widget. All right, now I'm gonna select this mesh. Now I can drive this displacement using real time like this. All right, so basically you can play with this value and get the value you are really looking for. Then I have already enabled RBT in this scene. So basically I can simply do this and it's nicely blending into my scene if you don't know how to use rvt in a scene like this 
I have a complete uh, video on that. Uh, check the description below and you understand how to do all these things. Everything I just showed you is not something fixed. All these things are examples. These are the things we created using the Open Land Mesh Toolkit. So basically we are allowing artists and uh, developers to like create really, really interesting things. All right, now we have the demo and let me show you how to create this display mesh from scratch. So let me delete this. All right, now create a blueprint anywhere we like. Okay, right click, blueprint class. And from the old classes section and search for open land mesh actor. Okay, this one. And then select. Now you have the blueprint and let's say my plane. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna double click that. So then you have a window like this. Here I have like rearranged my viewport into this here and the component bra tab here and my blueprint section now here. It's quite uh, nice to work with in this way. Okay, then go to the my blueprint section. Go to functions, hit override and there's a function called get polygon mesh. Okay, click that. All right, I'm gonna delete this. So basically I'm here I'm trying to create a plane. So I'm gonna right click and search for, for make plane mesh so here we have this make plane mesh i'm gonna connect it like this all right then i'm gonna connect it over there okay cool then i compile so you, we have a plane like this but i think uh, we need to like transform this for that one i'm gonna disable this so then i'm gonna get this return value and hit transform right and let me connect this Right, then I'm gonna select this transformer, right click, split struct pin, and from the transformer rotation, I'm gonna for the x-axis. So let me put something like 90 degree and hit compile. Right now we have a mesh like this. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Then I'm gonna select the component step and select the root component and go to the open land mesh section. So here we need uh, more subdivisions. Let me put seven subdivisions. Then we need smooth normals. If you don't know what smooth normal does, there's a video on the description, just go through that. All right, and then I'm gonna enable run GPU vertex modifier. So basically I'm trying to like change this position using the GPU, okay. Then I'm hit compile. So basically nothing happens, but if you go to the wireframe mode, you can see there are good enough vertices that we can work with. So then we need to create a vertex modifier. So select this none section and let's create a new material over there. And you can save it in any way you like. All right, let's give it a name like VM underscore for the vertex modifier, my plane. All right, then I'm gonna double click that and select some outside. And then uh, from the blend mode, make it alpha composite and that's required. And for the shading model, simply use unlit. Okay, this is uh, required for open land mesh to work. And then right click and search for open land mesh. Here we have vertex modify input. Okay, cool. And right click again, open land mesh. We have vertex modifier output. So I'm gonna select this position to position and this two MCU to MCU color to opacity to opacity. All right now our vertex modifier is complete so we have the push input position we don't do anything right now but then we send the modified position over there cool then i'm gonna hit save so then i go to my plane and i'm gonna compile again so nothing happens so that's that's cool All right now let's try to make some changes over here i'm gonna right click and search for texture sample so this is my displacement texture then i'm gonna r channel and i'm gonna multiply by some number let's say 10 all right so this is the displacement height and then i need to multiply that by the face normals all right then i'm gonna add that into the position like this so now we need the input texture as well as well as we need the uvs so i'm gonna select this uvs over there Right, then we need to have a texture. So for that one, let's select the texture. Right, this is the displacement texture from Megascan. I'm gonna select this and go to the material and I'm gonna hit this arrow. So basically I have this texture, cool. Then I'm gonna hit save. Then I'm going to my plane again. I'm gonna hit compile. Now you can see it did some changes, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not something we really want. At this point, it will be really nice if we can uh, create this mesh in the, our map and work on that. 
So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to drag my planar here and let me scale it to 15 times. All right. So basically, this doesn't look like a rock a mesh for me. It looks like set of triangles. And let me show you why this is happening. Go to your material. And here, select the texture sample. And make sure from the MIP value mode, put it to like MIP level absolute zero, the second one. Okay, full resolution. And hit save. Okay, now go to your scene and select the mesh. And here on the open land mesh section, hit modify mesh. All right, now that we have what we really need. So now I can simply drag this mega scan texture over there. And now we have these, these rocks. Cool. Right now, these values are fixed right now. So we need to create a parameter so we can easily change them. So I'm going to right click on this text sample and I'm going to select convert to parameter. Let's give it a name like displacement texture. And I'm going to do the same for this 10. Right click convert to parameter displacement and I'm gonna hit save then I can go to this GPU vertex modifier of this mesh and here we have parameter section I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna hit the value displacement and I'm gonna type as scalar and let's put value like 20 and hit modify mesh so basically I can change the value over here that's pretty cool Likewise, I can pass uh, this texture as well. So in order to do that, we need to change the type as tex texture and put the texture over there. All right, right now I'm gonna stop working on this material. So you can wrapper this uh, VM underscore displaced plane uh, material and try to see how I created the, this uh, fading effect and all these things. Basically, it's just simple material uh, work. So let's try to play the game and try to see whether we can, yeah. So everything is working, but it's not that pretty because we don't have this, this fading. So that's, that's fine. So now let's try to change this displacement or change this parameter using a D4 and blueprint or, or in runtime. For that one, I'm gonna demo using the widget. Here on the open land mesh sample content, example directory, we have widget. I'm gonna right click on this widget and I'm run editor with little widget. I'm gonna select this mesh. So basically I can hit this displacement value. Okay. And I can change that. So you wonder how we can do this. It's pretty easy. Uh, double click on this manage displaced plane. So here we have these values, this slider. In this slider we have a on change event. Double click that, right? Then we got the value. So you get the value. And here some we have changed scalar parameter. This is a function inside this blueprint. It's not related to open land mesh and double click on that. Right now uh, we have a function to get the selected actor in the, in the editor. All right, we get the first one. Now we cast that into open land mesh actor. All right, so that's okay. So then we set this parameter using the GPU scalar parameter. So if you have vector, you have GPU vector parameter and you have texture, GPU texture parameter. And the value is something we pass here. And the name is the parameter name. After we did this thing and we can simply call this modify mesh async. Um, that's all you have to do. You can do this on runtime, you can do this in editor and it's just work. And it's totally safe to call this modify mesh async multiple times and it's the open land mesh handles everything for you. That's how we can do this. I hope the, this is something uh, you excited about and try to get open land mesh, try to play with that one. And if you have any questions, comment on this YouTube video or come to our Discord and uh, we are really happy to help. And also you might ask, okay, how about the UE5 support? All right. Uh, right now I haven't tested this on U UE5 at the moment of this video recording, but I'm going to do this quite soon and we're going to support Lumen as well. And right now we don't have uh, a proper LOD system. Basically, we don't have LOD system, but that's my goal for this week. That LOD system will be similar to the default UE4 automatic LOD system, but I have plans to implement something uh, similar to Nanite. So uh, if you are interested in, uh, try to get open and mesh. And if you want to fund or encourage me to work on this, uh, try to get it from the marketplace. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. And see you soon with a different video. Bye.